As we prepare to open vaccines to the general public, the hospital system that's running two big mass vaccination sites is reviewing a pretty rough weekend. People waited in line for three hours at Dick's Sporting Goods Park for a vaccine. Down at the Broadmoor World Arena, they ran out of shots and had to turn away people who had appointments. Our Steve Steger asked Centura Health how it's learning from those mistakes. The goal with those sites is in and out within 30 minutes. Talk to anyone who got the shot at Dick's Sporting Goods Park during the week last week. They will tell you everything was smooth. Just don't mention that to someone who was there on Sunday. We did have some operational challenges and there were unexpected wait times for people that showed up. Unexpected wait times equaled three hours in some cases. We heard about people cutting lines, others getting out of the car and yelling. A mess, Centura says, that was created by an IT glitch. There was a scheduling error that enabled about 400 extra Coloradans to schedule an appointment for a vaccine yesterday. And because of those extra individuals, we were not staffed appropriately. 2,400 appointments were on the schedule yesterday when they planned for just 2,000. A glitch that's since been fixed, according to Dr. Shauna Gully, the chief clinical officer for Centura. In partnership with the state, Centura Health brought over additional vaccines to meet the needs of every single person who was scheduled for a vaccine. Everyone got the shot there. Not the case down south. At Centura's mass vac site in the Springs, Broadmoor World Arena, they ran out of vaccine before the end of the day. Why? Because they gave out too many shots to people who showed up without appointments. We always plan to have some additional vaccines on hand for people who show up along with individuals who have appointments or who walk up to the site. And there was a circumstance where uh, additional individuals got vaccinated that were not planned for. All the people who had appointments and didn't get the shot were rescheduled. And Centura is rethinking how it does business moving forward. Additional procedures have been put in place so that never happens again. What kind of additional procedures you might ask? Well, they are going to check in on their supply of vaccine hour by hour throughout the course of these events to make sure that they have enough supply for appointments by the end of the day. So I asked the governor today, does this shake his confidence as we get set to open up the vaccine schedule to everyone on Friday? He told me that in the early days of these clinics, there tend to be glitches like this, problems, they get sorted out. Uh, Centura for its part said, this whole process has been a learning process for them. They learn something new every day that makes the process better down the road. Yeah, it's it's a human it's a human endeavor, Steve. I think people are willing to give a lot of grace to all the healthcare workers who are trying to put this together. Uh, no grace for the machines, though. Whatever computer created that glitch and gave out 400 extra appointments, that computer has to go back to work into the DMV. Yeah, that or we're going to go office space on it in the middle of a field with some baseball bats at some point. <laughs> I think that that computer needs to be done away with. Forgive the humans, never forgive the computers. Thank you, Steve.